Hi everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to Gamer Body. In this video, I'm going to talk about getting these medals for my Spartan Race Trifecta in the year of 2019. Now I did do a full review on one of the races, the Spartan Beast, that you can see on this channel in the description below, but I want to talk about uh, getting each one of these and what you can do to work out from home in order to achieve this same goal. Also, by completing all the races, they give you a third of a medal that completes what's called the Spartan Trifecta Medal. And I have this little display case as well that I bought from their website that you can put each in. So they also do magnetize a little bit together. So if I wanted to wear this, I could, but I couldn't really jump around without it falling apart. But if you want, you can actually, each one of these little slivers has a little magnet in it that magnetizes these. But I decided to get kind of a display case for it. Um, that's why I bought here. So if you want to get the full trifecta medal, you can go ahead and buy it from their website if you've completed all of the necessary races. All right, so the races that you need to complete this are a stadion or sprint race, which is this yellow one. It's also red if you complete the sprint. They count both as a sprint uh, race. I checked on the rules. So make sure that you are doing a stadion or a sprint uh, race in order to get this medal. Then there's the Super and the Beast. Each one of these increases with difficulty. So the top one here is the easiest, and the blue, the Super, is the middle, and then the Beast one is the hardest race. They do have others like Ultras, and now they think they're getting to like mountain running and stuff like that. But to complete this, you just need a Sprint slash uh, Stadion, a Super, and a Beast race completed. No, each of these have to be completed in the same year. So this is for the trifecta medal of 2019. So as you can see, I also have these three medals that come with it, and I have my times on what are called iTabs, Spartan iTabs, written on the back. So for the easiest race called the Stadion, which I did in Anaheim at Angel Stadium, um, I was bib number 17772, and I did this on August 3rd, 2019, with an hour of one, or with a time of one hour, three minutes, and 33 seconds. This was actually probably my favorite favorite race of the Spartan races I've done. I do actually have a Spartan race sprint. This is the red one with the little tab from 2018. But again, it wasn't in the same calendar year, so it doesn't count. But this is probably my favorite one of all of them. It is one of the shortest ones, one of the easiest ones. But overall, the obstacles weren't that far away from each other. And it was really, uh, really probably one of the most fun ones to do. And it's kind of cool being in a stadium. The next one is the next one up. Oh, and also this is about a three to five mile race depending on the area. I'm pretty sure this one's about a three miler. It says 5K on the website. So just note that if you're training for this event. The next one is about an eight mile run. I think they say it's about eight to 10 uh, mile race. And this is the super. And I was bid number 8079 and completed it in two hours, 32 minutes and 17 seconds. The big problem I had with this race is I had a giant calf cramp at about a mile and a half from the finish line. So that kind of stunk. And I had to bypass the... Um, the tire flip, so it's a really heavy tire for men, it's like 400 pounds or something, that you have to flip over. Uh, so that was the one I had to bypass because of the injury I sustained while doing the race. So that was the only obstacle I missed in that race, which kind of stunk. And I was actually at a really good pace for myself. So that was unfortunate, but I did end up getting the medal in the end because I completed the race, even with a busted calf. And the last one and the most grueling race I did by far, and why I made a review on it, on why not everyone should be doing this race, and should not be promoted to the general public really, is the Spartan Race Beast I did up in Big Bear, California. Now for this race, I was bib number 8912, and I did this on May 18th, 2019. It took me six hours, 16 minutes, and 56 seconds. Now this race is 13 miles, while this one is about eight to 10 miles. This took me four, almost four hours longer to complete than this one, which is pretty ridiculous. And the reason I go over in that video, the Spartan Race Beast review I made, is because you're literally running straight up and down a mountain. So I basically walked 90% of this race because it's very hard. Basically, you're climbing a ski mountain. These things are not like gradual. It's very steep. So this was very, very tough. And again, I don't recommend it for someone who is under trained or hasn't done one of these things before. Um, it should not be promoted to the general public as so. And that's my big gripe with it. Otherwise, um, it was an interesting experience, but I don't plan on doing this race ever again. So that's it on the medals I received within the 2019 season. I'm glad I got this. I set out at the beginning of January. I was supposed to do it with a friend, but he decided to back out. Um, but I was able to get all the pieces to my trifecta medal, and I'm pretty proud of accomplishing that goal. It is pretty expensive. I would look on Groupon if you're looking to get good deals. 
Um, I ended up getting under $100 from almost all the races except for the Stadion because by the time I went to get on Groupon, they'd all sold out. So if you are planning on doing this, get them as soon as you possibly can because you can save almost half the price in some cases as these things do run over $100 for the most part. Not to mention all the clothes that you will ruin while doing these events. All right, and some training tips going into the races. I'm gonna talk mainly about these two because this one is like an entirely different beast. You really need a lot of experience in, I'd say, races beforehand to even attempt to really do this one. Just note that the Big Bear one is one of the hardest ones in the country from what I've read online. Um, I don't know if that's true, I've never done another beast, but based on their uh, what I've read in the reviews, this one is probably one of the hardest races in the country. Um, but it is, again, 13 miles and you're going up a mountain, so that's pretty tough. For these two, you could and can, because that's what I did, train from the comfort of home, build up enough strength, and do these races. The main things you need to focus on are pulling strength, being able to hold yourself off the ground for a long period of time um, and move like while hanging and then also being able to run for a decent amount of distance so for this one you need to be run at least a 5k without stopping i'd say and then for this one you're going to want to be able to run about 8 to 10 miles um, without stopping that way you can complete the running portions of these races because that's what you're going to be doing for about 90 percent of the time i complete each obstacle in about probably the longest obstacle takes me like 30 seconds um, that's the ones where you like carry things, drop them, and come back. Um, but for the most part, things like the rope climb, I can do full arm, just pull up myself up. Do it under. I do it in under 10 seconds. So most of them are really short. Some you do have to wait around for. So like for this one, the only thing I failed on this one was the javelin throw, which I didn't fail on any of my other races, even counting my one from 2018. Um, so I almost had a perfect race until I missed the javelin throw. Um, but just note that there are some other types of things you need to do in each race. Uh, to be prepared for but if you're really looking to get through at least 80 I'd say 80 percent of the obstacles is being able to pull and hold your weight up in the air as well as run for a long period of time so for me my training would look something like you want to be able to do a lot of pull-ups of course you want to be able to run a decent amount of distance without stopping um, and then I would also focus on the other pushing movements so like dips and stuff like that you really want to be able to control your body weight really well and then there are some things where you have to pick up heavy objects. Now my big gripe here is you are tired when you do this and I really don't like that they do that. They put a lot of the obstacles in the last couple of miles of the race just so you know. Uh, so for the most part you're just jumping over walls in the beginning for a very long time like the first half of the race and then nearing the end like again the last two miles or so they're going to put everything in there for you. So like the tire flip um, and then like the uh, atlas ball carries that kind of thing are all put near the end of the race which is not a good place to put it because you're lifting heavy objects while you're tired so that's my big gripe with Spartan Race right now uh, but other than that you can pretty much get away with those things so again focus a lot on pulling strength a lot on your endurance and running um, also being able to jump I would focus on trying to get your jump height uh, higher because you're jumping over a lot of walls um, in this so those are the big things I would focus on in your training all right and that is it on this video on my journey to completing the Spartan Trifecta again please check out the full review of the Spartan Race Beast if you'd like to see how much I rip on it in my video I know I've got some dislikes because of that but I really still feel like it is for more advanced um, athletes and people who've trained for a while um, if you did like this video please like and subscribe and I might do even more events and review them for you on this channel I have the train race coming up and I'd love to do a review of that as well also please head over to gamerby.com and opt into the email newsletter by doing so, I'll send you seven cheat codes that can help you build muscle, get lean, and build confidence all from the comfort of home. Again, I trained for all of these events I did from home as I haven't actually done a gym membership in a couple of years now. Um, so just know that you can get ready for these events by doing your training at home. And that is it. So again, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.